like most rock bands, Fleetwood Mac had built their reputation through years on the road. But the biggest US rock record of 1976 came out of nowhere. Fittingly, in the bicentennial year, it was born in the home of the American Revolution. Boston was the brainchild of Tom Schultz. A science graduate, he worked as a technician at Polaroid while creating the perfect rock sound in his home studio every evening. The process of getting the record actually released by a, a label and then played on a radio station was a long and painful journey. <laughs> I had been recording demos for years. The plan was I would record one last demo. If that didn't do it, then I was gonna liquidate, sell what I could, get what I could out of it. I recorded at night, and then I worked at Polaroid in the day. And I worked really hard in the recording at night, so sometimes during the day at Polaroid, I wasn't really at my maximum potential. But somehow I didn't get fired. <laughs> I'm in a big room with a lot of other engineers and draftsmen. I got a call from somebody in New York that says they're the vice president of A&R for A&M Records or something like that. I said, well, I don't know what that is. I took up the phone and said, we've heard your, we've heard your demo. We want to talk to you about doing an album. And I, 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 I put the phone down, jumped up on a desk, and I'm doing a dance on a desk in the middle of the office, which, um, of course, attracted a lot of attention. A band was put together around Tom Schultz to play the music live. And with the single, More Than a Feeling, getting heavy airplay, Boston's first concerts caused chaos. 3,000 people showed up. They broke down the chain link fence. There was a riot. <laughs> the, uh, the promoter was arrested. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was just, it was a phenomenon. Boston's debut was one of a string of multi-million selling rock albums released in 1976. A new platinum category was created to account for the huge sales that rock was now enjoying. Dealing with all of the people that success brings you into contact with, by people I'm, I'm, I'm being kind, because that connects you to some of the lowest forms of life on the planet that get dressed in the morning. Whether music or money is the important part for a record company is... Um, it's the most obvious, <laughs> it's the most obvious answer of all time. The pressure was, the pressure was horrifying. People just thought that, well, you had made a whole bunch of money for them. Now, what's taking you so long to make more for us? You know, you're holding up the show by not, and I actually had, have, and still have, uh, people accusing me of, of uh, messing up their career or their fortunes because I didn't produce the thing that I do fast enough to make money for them. Mm -hmm. 